guys, welcome back. Uh, okay, now I'm like looking at the red in my hair and I'm totally distracted. I swear, I have ATD or something. Uh, but the redhead in charge got me out of bed, so there you go. Um, he asked me if I would make a uh, video for him that I was thinking about and I just haven't been getting to this because I think about it and then I overthink it and don't do it. But here we go. Um, I've seen a lot of people ask if, is it valid to have a, uh, fox for Loki as a totem or treat him as a fox god or what have you, even though a lot of per people have unverified personal gnosis or knowledge. Gnosis is just a fancy word for that. And remember, I'm speaking as a witch, not a heathen, so you can, you know, filter that how you want. Let's see, yes, and we are having, if you're from the other channel, Loki the Fox help us! So, yeah, Loki the Fox from the other channel showed up to help us, so, yeah! <laughs> Basically, just to have everybody chill out and calm down, not be so serious. Oh, God, yes, I said that. <laughs> yeah, it got, your brain caught up with it, right? Okay, so why would we have Loki be a fox? Well, one... Foxes are beautiful creatures, right? Very beautiful. Most beautiful of all the woodland creatures is the fox. No matter what species. The red and um, the red fox is one of the most beautiful. And Loki is, of course, known to be a beautiful god, even noted for his beauty. And uh, the red fox also is, of course, for us Americans at least, a import. It just is Loki is an imported god to the country. And also, um, to not rehash what everyone else has already said, I would say, you know, from my personal thoughts, what I haven't seen anyone else say is, just like a fox, if you take a fox, an actual fox, I don't care how tamed down that fox is, I don't care how much you love that fox, if you would take an actual little fox, like little Loki here, actual little le living, breathing fox, and you bring them into your house, they're not a cat or a dog, and even a cat or a dog's going to have accidents or like, like and such. A fox is basically a one animal wrecking machine. No matter how much they love you, no matter how intelligent or well trained they are, they are going to follow fox behavior. They are not being bad. They are not being evil. They are going to pee on things. They are going to dig. They are going to try to create a stash. They are going to follow all those foxy behaviors. They are going to try to do everything they can. They can cause thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage. And this is not a fox being bad. This is not a fox being evil. This is a fox being fox. You cannot breed this out of a fox no matter how many generations you go down. It's like trying to breed scratching out of a cat or barking out of a dog. It's just it's not going to happen. So, Loki, too, when he comes in, he tends to transform your life to suit himself, doesn't he? Um, if you pick up any of the books on him, well, there's like two books I know of, but if you pick up the one main book on him, um, you say about, um, you know, don't tempt him. If, like, you're going to invite him into your life, if you know there are things that you don't want found out, or there are things that look like they're about to break... Um, don't tempt him, because he does have that part to him that he does have a destructive side. Now, it doesn't mean that he's evil. It doesn't mean that he's bad. It just means it's an inherent part of who he is. Um, and it's, you know, it's like waving catnip toy in front of a cat. It's like if my computer's on its last legs... And I know it's on its last legs, but I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And he is bored that day and not getting his pure share of attention. He'll just be looking at it like, hmm. Hmm. It's a toy. It's a marvelous toy. <laughs> and it's not his fault. Um, you know that I have a remarkable number of computer breakdowns. Uh, I even named this computer Loki, and it's broke down three times in one year. Um, the uh, logic behind that was, name it after your patron. He won't touch it. Oh, ho, ho. That, that didn't work at all. And um, 
Yeah, if he thinks it needs to go, it will go. So, like the fox, he can rearrange your life to suit him. But he's actually doing it for your own good. Your higher good is actually um, what he's doing it for. But you won't see it at the time. You'll just see the total mess. Much like if the fox was left alone for an entire weekend out of its pen in your house, you would come back and you would find total devastation. Fox urine and feces everywhere. Food scattered everywhere. Uh, you might not even find the fox. Uh, you would just be screaming, ranting, raving. You you might want to scream and rant and rave at Loki for all the devastation you think he's causing. Be like, I hate you. Rah, rah, rah. And yeah, if you're Loki, in the, fir the one of the first things you do every time something breaks, it's like, okay. <laughs> but, you know, it's not always Loki. It isn't always Loki. That's one thing Loki is have to remember. Every single time something breaks, it's not always Loki. Things do break with all his help. Uh, admittedly, they do break with all his help. Though sometimes uh, they do break with his help because he wants attention or he wants you to look at something. Sometimes he is saying, hey, you need to look at this. You need to focus on something else. I need you to pay attention to this or that. But yeah, um, for my two cents, since he wanted me to uh, make the video, to me that would be why I would associate him with a fox. Because he, he will come in and he will bring the necessary change. And of course, like a fox... Fox here is said to be firebringer. Fox was said to bring fire to mankind, and he certainly is associated with fire now. It does not matter if he was associated with fire before, he's associated with fire now. Fox is associated with fire, not just as a browser either. And, you know, Fox is downright magical, associated with this and that. And, you know, to me, as I've always said to you guys, Loki is the god of whatever he darn well wants to be. I've never seen any gods stop one god from going into their quote-unquote territory. Only we humans do that. Only we humans take a god and put them in a box. Only we humans try to put a copyright on a god and say, this god belongs in this religion. You can't touch this god unless you know X, Y, and Z and you speak this language. And They're not like that. They're not like that at all. Um, I've never seen any god get offended if Loki does something that he's not supposed to be a god of, and likewise, I've never seen Loki be offended if another god does something he's supposed to be an expert of. Anything they teach each other, they teach each other tricks. So if there's something that you think only one of your gods knows about you, uh-uh, they be teaching each other behind your back. So be aware of that. They will do it, and they will tell you sometimes, and sometimes they won't. But they will tell you sometimes, because uh, I had a, things happen that I ran across this article on Loki that vetted a personal experience I had with him. And it happened to be written by a Tears woman. And Tear was always a god I had problems with. Not that I don't love him and that he isn't a you know, perfect god, but... Um, the first tearsman I ran into was a turtle, judgmental, racist, jackbooted butthead, and I wanted nothing to do with Tear after that, even though Tear, you know, went above and beyond to, like, try to form a relationship. I was like, no. And tonight I was like, okay, I'll get up and I'll make the video. And I said, okay, fine, Tear. You're okay, too. And as soon as I said that, it started raining and, like, rumbling. And it's like Thor was part of, like, Finally, finally, she gets it. And I'm like, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> they, like, travel in a pack, you know that. So, yeah, they all okay now, and he got his video, and Loki's okay, and you can have the fox. And if you, if you are not happy with foxes, you can have spiders, snakes, hawks, or falcons, depending on how you want to translate that. I don't care. I don't want to fight with you in the comic se comments section. You can have anything you want. I mean, if Loki has shown it to you, I don't care. You guys personally know, I don't personally care. If you like Marvel, I don't care. If you like Chrisome, or you like comic book, or you like computer game, or you like whatever, I don't care. The gods reach us all differently. I firmly believe that. They... They will take whatever path they can get. Oh, some of us don't have the luxury to have a book education or to have a uh, craft education or to have a uh, heathen education. Some of us, they have to get free pop culture or song or whatever. So, you know, 
they would grab us any way they can. That sounds terrible, but you know what I mean. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative, but yeah, that's the little fox thing, and that's little Loki from the other channel. Yeah, and I was going to sing, but I'm not going to do that because, um, I don't know, Mom can't do my high falsetto voice anymore. But uh, there's probably only people from the other channel watching, so hi! Hi, everybody! I'll be back to doing Five Nights at Freddy's stuff really soon. <laughs> All the pagans pray thinking I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you later. Uh, blessed be to all the pagans and witches and everyone else out there. And uh, just had to get up because the boss man said get up, make the video. So there you go. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.